Okay, number four, apply a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Uh, number five is apply a black and white adjustment layer. Number six is apply a levels adjustment layer. So I'm going to do all three of them in this next video. So brightness and contrast, black and white, and levels adjustment. And so if you see an image where the entire image needs to be brightened, then that's where you would use a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. If you see an image where part of it is really bright like this one and part of it is really dark, you don't want to use brightness and contrast there. You want to use a levels adjustment. And then we'll just grab a random image to make black and white since I already showed you that for a previous example. So I am going to choose, let's say, this guy here for my brightness and contrast adjustment. We'll call him Lesson 11D. And then I'm Mm. Yeah, I'll choose this one with the house for my levels adjustment. I'll call him Lesson 11E. And then I need one that I want to go and make black and white. And so uh, I'll take the little cup thing here. And we'll make that Lesson 11F. And so quickly I will apply those adjustments. So I'm going to select all three of them on my desktop right click, choose open with, and then Photoshop. And then uh, this is the first image that I selected. And it's the one that I think kind of the whole thing needs to be brighter. And so we can apply an adjustment layer to it. I'll use a little black and white cookie and choose brightness and contrast. When you do that, your properties panel will activate and you can slide the brightness slider one direction or the other until you get the color the way that you want. You can also increase or decrease the contrast if you want to, and then you can make an adjustment that way. Most times when you make a brightness and contrast adjustment, you want it to be subtle, and so I'd recommend including the before and the after um, example of your image when you are showing the changes in the skills practice discussion. If we jump to the next image, this is the image where the sky is really bright, but the water, or the water if you're from New Jersey, um, all South Jersey, uh, is not so bright. And so instead of using a brightness and contrast adjustment, this image might be more applicable if we apply a levels adjustment. You can do curves too if you want to. I just think levels are easier for right now. And one of the things you can do with a levels adjustment is you can take your black and your white or your dark and your light slider and you can move them in. And when you take the dark slider and move it in, it makes more of the image the darkest dark color and so obviously if you go too far it's bad and so I'm just gonna pop it in just a little bit and the same goes for the white I'm gonna move it over just a little bit until I get what I want the main part of the levels adjustment comes with the midtone slider and you're gonna slide this midtone slider to the right or to the left until you achieve the look that you're going for and it's only affecting the midtone values and so I'm just going to let's start with this at zero slide it to the left until I get the amount of color or texture or crispness back into the water area that I was looking for. Okay, last but not least, I want to apply a black and white adjustment. And so what I'm looking for with the black and white adjustment is that not only that you, did you apply it, but you made some choices to make it look cool. And so if we go to the layers panel, we hit the little black and white new adjustment layer icon. Uh, you can choose black and white and then use the properties panel and at the very least, click through the defaults and see if any of them create a better version of, of the black and white image than whatever happened on the default. What I really like to do is I like to do a custom uh, black and white. And what you do is you turn your eyeball off on your adjustment layer and you take a look at the colors in the image and you decide which colors do you want to be dark and which colors do you want to be light. And so if I look at the sky and the sky is blue and I really want the sky to be really dense and I want to see all the clouds, turn your black and white filter back on, find the cyans and the blue slider and slide them to the left and those colors in the image are going to become darker and darker. And you can see I slid them all the way over. The same applies if you want the background to really disappear. If you don't want to see the, the clouds in the sky, slide the cyan and the black slider to the right and it will basically disappear. Now you never want to blow out the color because you don't get a realistic look of what the sky looks like. You're going to get weird edges. 
but you can slide it a little bit to really pop the color. Now the cup statue has a lot of yellows and reds in it, so if I take them to the left, I'm going to make the statue darker and darker. And so you can kind of go back and forth and figure out what parts of the image you want to be dark and dense in your black and white image and what you want to be lighter or fade away. When you're done, go ahead and save a copy of those. You can screenshot them or save them as like a JPEG or a PNG file and post them in the skills practice discussion for the rest of the class to see.